Petra, Matt, welcome to the podcast. Thanks, guys. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been take four for everyone listening, but we're there. <laughs> we have somebody, Petra, is joining us in Australia right now. It's the day before the retreat in January 2023, for when we're listening. Mm. We're in the beautiful Gaimir Resort in Yukai, near Mount Warning. Mm, not, not the UK. Not the UK, Yukai. Yukai. Yes. Yeah. It's phenomenal. And it's a shame. We really, if we could show you behind, it's absolutely beautiful. The rain's falling. Can you being on the camera? No, because then... Oh. Try bringing that back. It's oh, terrible. Yeah, once, once the um, the sound engineers come to do the podcast for us, we can do whatever you want. Until then, we huddle around the camera. <laughs> That's it. When we get our audiovisual team, four yeah. cameras running around. That's know. right. All nice and cozy. I'm actually realized I'm still in my gym gear this morning, so that's Me how too. dedicated for the podcast. That's a good workout, man. Patrick just got off the plane from Croatia. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah well thank you for joining us on the podcast the reason why we're doing it was two reasons one we wanted to talk about 2023 and what inspires us and i think it's it's real for me it's very special having all three of us on the podcast in person because it never happens very often mm. we're always when we are together we're normally working and running retreats and so consumed by obviously what's coming and because we're up here a day early we thought we'll squeeze her in so i'm petra i'm very grateful that you're on and i know there's a little bit of jet lag in there but i have no doubt Ooh. words of wisdom will come out today let's see as we, as we go then uh anything else to add before we uh, continue on we're just waffling now you are yeah i am <laughs> so inspiration 2023 first question is i'm just going to come up with one because Inspiration, is that the theme? That's the theme. And what do you do to stay inspired? Because from inspiration, so many beautiful things can come from in our lives. And I'll start with you, Matt, so you can ponder on it. I won't be on the Thank you. And we can I all answer known. this question. I should have yeah. going right to me. Well, I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, there's a lot of things that I, I do to stay inspired. I think it's a it's a challenging thing, especially at the pace that we move in our modern world, mm -hmm. is that we go so fast and we burn ourselves out. We're running on adrenaline, we're running on stress. But if I can find ways to actually nurture myself and to create space, that's when things start to bubble up because I'm very good at doing things and getting busy doing things. And I find this as well. It's like a distraction for me is that if there's something that I'm wanting to create, like writing a book or doing a course, um, these types of things, I'll, my house will get very clean. And <laughs> the clean on top of the clean. And so it's like all this do-do doing. And, mm -hmm. and it, so for me to create a space for inspiration is to nurture myself and, and to allow the space. And that's through, you know, I'll go out in the morning and have coffee in the front yard overlooking the nature. Mm -hmm. right? And then... I'll have um, a walk in nature. I'll, um, uh, you know, meditation is a good one. Yeah. The any type of exercise, you know, all these things. Baths. I always get in the bath, a hot bath, and that really helps to let me breathe out. Let me just let go of all the stuff mm. that's on my shoulders mm. and just find that space. And that's when it's like, you know, I've got so many wet pieces of paper because I'm in the bath and I have these ideas and I'm trying to write it down and then it just gets blurry ink. <laughs> Forget about it. But. Laminate it, mate. Yeah, and then you'll be fine. Yeah, I need a waterproof uh, iPad. Um, those are a few things. Yeah, totally. What about you? Or should we go to Petra? Anyway, I've, I've done a lot of talking so far. Yeah. Oh. yeah, for me, it's just like you said, slowing down, definitely. And just being in the moment, like we are here right now and admiring everything and looking at everything as a child would. Mm. Oh being inspired with everything, being in awe with everything, because you can find something new in every moment, in everything you see, just if you allow yourself to look at it as something you're looking at for the first time. And be grateful, just like the rain now. I mean, so many people would complain about rain, right? And um, we are just sitting here admiring mm. the rain. Yeah. So, be grateful for everything that life is presenting and find inspiration in that. Yeah, that's totally. what I would say. Yeah, no, I, I love this. Love what you said is a great reminder seeing everything for the first time because mm -hmm. we we get in so many patterns and ruts and and we we create so many habits that are around perpetuating the same 
emotions, the same feelings, the, the same journey almost every day. There's not much changes out of that. Mm. And, and we just fall victim to ourselves in our mind half the time, right? Mm. And it's like if we can remind ourselves to bring that beginner's mind, that, that innocence, that, wow, why couldn't it be different today? Like, why, why, why does it have to be like that? Just because it's been like that 99 times before. Yeah. The hundredth could be, look at you with the upgrade. The, the business class. Excuse you got to tell that story, right? <laughs> Come on. That was legendary. I'm like, oh, how did you manage that? Like, it's like that's excellent, you know, because it's, it's living I flow. allowed to be inspired and I was living in the flow. Yeah. I was traveling in the flow and I got upgraded to business yeah. class. You didn't ask nothing. No, no, I was just rewarded. So, and grateful because I, I was really grateful yesterday for everything and I was just taking time to slow down while I was in Doha. I wasn't mm. running around. I was just there with myself and just present and grateful for everything, for every meal I had, for every opportunity to go into sauna or whirlpool or whatever. I was just so grateful. And then... This was in Kota, right? Not yeah, on the plane. Not on the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not sauna on the plane yet. <laughs> <laughs> that might be an next yeah, yeah. manifestation. And then, yeah, I was in the zone. And just beautiful things were coming. No expectations, no right? Expectations. That's the other thing, isn't it? Quite, mm. quite often we caught, yeah. we, we almost go out looking, well, why not me? Why isn't this? And, and as opposed to just being, being, mm. yeah, yeah. And you know what I also found that is really helping me is learning new things, like getting into new stuff. Again, being a child, like, mm. I went back to horseback riding, which I used to do when I was little. So now I'm, I had to go through a lot of fear because of the trauma I had mm -hmm. uh, when I was young, but that brought so much and opened a completely new window for me. And I really look at the world in a totally different way since I came back to overcome that fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah huge, and just spending time with horses and just overcoming a little part of myself every time. I ride. Yeah. It's amazing. amazing. Yeah, ocean swimming was mine. Mm -hmm. So I, I remember coming to Australia and not being able to swim. I, I couldn't do a lap really without being exhausted in the swimming pool. And I really wanted, I was living in uh, South Coogee and I really wanted to utilize the ocean, but I was terrified. I didn't understand rips. I didn't mm -hmm. surf. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't, I, you know, and I'm like, I got all this beauty out there and yet I can't do it. And threw myself into the bronze medallion or the Surf Club Bronze Medallion back in 2007, and it changed my life. Like, I was mm. terrified, excited, and I could chip away, and mm. I think it took two months to go through. But I, I can understand that. And it's... Yeah, same thing with surfing. Remember yeah, yeah, yeah. last time I was mm -hmm. here? Yeah, we went surfing, and then I was telling you that I keep on staying on my knees instead of getting on my feet. And then you said, sometimes you just have to say, fuck it and jump on the board. And that's it. That's what we have to do in life. We just need to go. Just, yeah, yeah, it's like What's your simple. fuck it moment? Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't have a like, like a jump in. No. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. You're doing ice bath recently. Mm. Like really. Yeah, but, but I think like from getting to know you, like mm. what um, I've loved watching I've never shared this with you, so I'm doing oh. this in public for the first time. Jesus. Um, <laughs> no, but truly, like, here we are running a retreat this week. We've got a full house with people trying to get in on the waiting list. We've got 36 people coming. We can't physically fit anyone more in Gaimia. Mm. And it's extremely special to, to witness that. And as I've gotten to know you over the years, you've had this ability to just go out and do things like even with the way you you transfer from your massage to sound like you're always on the edge and exploring and putting in, and you don't put these um limitations in the way oh well that's not going to work that's not you're always amongst it doing it so i've heard many a story from you seeing that which i get inspiration from because i think because i remember running my first meditation workshop coming out of the back of 180 you know and i was terrified like what are people going to think and do and and things like that. So when I'm around you, you, you do that like really well. <laughs> Your inspiration. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah. I don't know about that. I think yeah. Well, oh, good to hear. But yeah, I, it's a it's a it's a gift and a, and a curse. I think is my ability to just leap 
and just dive into yeah, things. Yeah, like my, yeah, my yeah. fear my fear levels are a bit out of whack, I reckon. Okay, right? I'd, I'd agree. I think <laughs> I think sometimes I need to put a leash on you. That's it. That's like, it. what's he fucking doing yeah. now, man? No, like, well, I, I, no. <laughs> just, it's, it's just finding that edge, and it's like, wait a minute. No, bit, I love the edge. Like, that's, that's what I, where I thrive, is on the edge. <laughs> And just like, you know, two wheels have to be off the ground in the car at all times. Right. Like, for right. me to feel comfortable. Yeah. And so that's good because then it, you know, it allows, you know, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if I didn't just try things. That, of course. You know, if I thought about it, it wouldn't happen. And so that gives me that space and to, to leap. But then also I find myself in very compromised positions and doing stupid things. <laughs> I didn't want to say that in public, but yeah, I'll agree. <laughs> More often than I'd like to admit, you know? <laughs> so I think it's a balance, but yeah, it's, um, mm. step into your fear. Always that, that, that concept of the fear is it's an empty room. And if you, as soon as you step into it, it's no longer empty. Of course. So we can sit there and we can be, you know, hesitating to go into this room because it, it's empty, but just step in and then mm. it's over. Yeah. No. Yeah, totally. And the, the, the one thing I'd add to, to draw from drawing inspiration from is exactly the two things. Cause the one thing I've had since, cause we ran our last workshops in the beginning of December, didn't we? Yes. And the then, yeah. and I remember thinking, it's like six weeks before the retreat or five weeks. Mm. Wow. It's a long time to take, but it's been the best thing for me. I've tried to avoid the laptop when I can. I mean, there's been bits and pieces. Mm. But having that space, and I always think of um, that quantum physicist, the Mikhail Swami, the dooby dooby doo. Like, but there, there, there is a lot to be said in the being, just the be. And there's been a lot of that this last month, and hanging out with Ava and Linda, and just going on the beach and watching mm. them swim, and that. And every night there's um, there's like a dance off now half the time because Ava wants to dance. She's getting to that age, and she always gets a little shake as the instruments out. And we find ourselves jumping around the kitchen like Ava, like, mm. like a three-year-old. And it's, it's so much fun. <laughs> like it's, it's crazy, you know, and, and we do 10, 15 minutes of that. And Ava's really happy then, you know, after dinner and things. And, and it's like, wow, that's, why am I, do, why, why did it, why did I have to wait for Ava to have permission to do that? You know what I mean? Mm. Like I, I think about those things um, quite a lot. So that's been a big, big lesson on inspiration so next question because you guys have not prepared me with any questions well, you've, how long have you been doing this podcast what is that <laughs> wow. I it was inspiration. A My inspiration last time we were at the retreat I, if you're watching some video right behind this door there was about a six foot python yeah it must have been yeah, yeah. he was huge Easy. Two meters, and, yeah. And, yeah and he just went and curled up there and, and just hung out for the day hmm. Today, we were driving in the van up here because you know you're coming into the rainforest and things. What's it like watching a, a probably a five, six foot iguana across mm. the road? Like I nearly ran iguana, it was wider than the car. <laughs> it was wider than the car. It was. What are you on? I caught a fish this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was long with his tail. It he was, was a good two meters like from, from head to tail. The, but not wide, wider than the, the, the No, no, the width of the car. Oh, the, so the, the length of the, the goana was the, the width of the car. <laughs> that's right, right. The way you talk is confusing. <laughs> not the length of the car. It wasn't a bus, mate. Uh, Godzilla walked across the road, mate. That was a good story. Yeah, we saw Godzilla came in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Inspiration. No, no, the width, the width. It was like six foot, two meters at yeah, least, yeah, there was right? was a big lizard across yeah, yeah, the road. Your car's not that, you know, big. Um, anyway, I don't know where we were going with all of the... the the animals and stuff but somebody fell off the tree <laughs> all right raining it back <laughs> so 2023 next question is there anything you're going to do differently like a lesson that you've taken from 2022 even though your post are like to the beginning of the year about what why, why is why is there a new year you know what i mean did i you started going on about present moment basically. Ah, oh, I did too. But is there anything reflecting on 2022 that you want to bring in differently for 2023 to continue that inspiration? Yeah, well, I shared this in the um, in the coaching program last week. Yeah. And it's just, it's still brewing in me. It's this concept that I've been, you know, like my ability just to leap into things and to do things is that I, um, you know, get really busy and I get really focused and I can like, you know, set a goal and then I'll accomplish it. Especially if people say you can't do it. I'm like, I'll show you I can do 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, I'm very good at that. But in that, I can, what am I setting my sights on? I'm setting my sights on what I can perceive from where I am right now. And so in that is an actual limitation because what if there was something beyond what I can see right now that I could actually be moving towards instead of what I am limiting myself based on what I perceive in this moment. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? It does. So my kind of New Year's intention around that is instead of focusing on what it is that I intend to create, it's creating the space to allow what is Where beyond, what is, what is possible, what's wanting anything, to come in. yeah, whatever's wanting to come yeah. in, beyond what I know, beyond what I think is possible. Yeah. And to me, that sounds like the more, the way I would interpret that, in, in, how I would move into that is like, then the more present I am, the more actually heart-centered and actually grateful for these moments and awe yeah. and wonder, mm. the more that will then grow in. Because it can be challenging when you, the, the pressures, obviously, with the business and, and finances and different, you know, things happen in our life. We can get knocked off kilter from those states of being, but the more we're in it, the more we perpetuate. Mm. You know? Yeah. I like it. Mm. Yeah. It was my favorite, one of my favorite quotes um, from Oprah. God, use me for a purpose greater than myself. Use my life for something more than I know. I use that in meditation often. Mm. Mm. Can you say that one more time? God, use me for a purpose greater than myself. Use my life for something more than I know. Yeah. Well, I have you heard it, yeah. <laughs> Not that it gets I, me out of the yeah. way and then it allows me to open to something more. Something mm. yeah. more than I know. Yeah. And then if you're still and being more being, having more space in your life, then that's it. It will surprise you. When ready. Oh, that's a good one, eh? Hey? Let life surprise you. Mm. Yeah. That's in a good way. In a good way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep me positive. <laughs> <laughs> last time I said that, I had vertigo, mate. I was like, <laughs> let life pre pleasantly surprise, surprise. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for the better. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you've been down in the dirt, is for the better a long term. Like, it'll be. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What, about, what about you? Is there Same. Yeah. Just what we spoke about being present, being grateful, staying mm. open. Mm -hmm. without expectations I think just coming back to being grateful all the time creates space for more to come without expectations mm -hmm. because when you feel grateful you feel complete you're not intentionally looking for something more outside because you're already grateful for what you have mm -hmm. and then it just comes yeah. and then you have even more things to be grateful for because you're already whole and complete, yeah. like you're already there. Yeah. And there's that light and reminding of it, isn't it? Yeah, and slowing down. Just like, I mean, two of us, we have very similar brains. We can really... Speak for yourself. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> also, you're off the chair, yeah. sorry. Um, yeah, but teaching my brain to slow down, that's mm -hmm. huge for me. Mm. And I really am enjoying it. Well, you said off air too, stop complaining, didn't you? I think yeah. that's a, that's a, Stop a, complaining. Yeah. It's raining. How mm -hmm. many people would complain because it's raining? Oh, yeah. 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 We just took our shoes off send and ran back. Send them to wheels, man. So yeah. mm. Six months in wheels. You got another yeah. question for us there, uh, podcast host? <clears throat> yeah. Um, well, I, the one thing I was just thinking, would I add to anything that you guys said? Oh, yeah. Oh, but, yeah. But, but no, not really. It, it really does come back to the things that we we strive to help people embody in, mm -hmm. in this work, right? As we, as we overcome things. The one thing that I want to learn, because I want, I want to pray into, is there anything new you're going to learn this year? Anything that you're going to bring in to continue that might meet that inspiration? That we are letting meet life surprise moment? us. <laughs> come on, come on. In it a must good be, way. Must, you know, like, you know, we spoke about kite surfing, like, mm. like oh, that did kind we? Of, no, oh, me me and him. Him. no, no, we cut, <laughs> cut you out of the conversation. Come there. on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I often think about those things as well because things that, that, that drive a skill set or something that requires you to be in the moment, mm -hmm. allows you to challenge you and develop you, just like your horse riding, yeah. you know, just like your or surfing. surfing yeah. um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of feel like I'm lacking a little bit of that in my life, to be honest with you. And I'm, I've, I've lent on having a two and a half year old. A lot around because I want to be present and around, but at the same time, this is bullshit. I can find time if I truly want to, mm. you know. So, 
um, I think about those things in there. So is there anything that, that you've been like pondering on? Or are you just gonna just carry on doing the same thing? <laughs> Same shit, different day. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's taken me 50 years to figure out what the hell I want to do with my life. And it's like the skills and the um, the things that I am working with are uh, a part of that. Part of it. Yes. Like, you know, bringing, like, we're, I'm doing looping now in, in the sound work and bringing live loops and, like, trying mm. to really master that ability to add layers to the yeah. sound and, the, um, you know, developing new courses and to really put it down in forms like I, I just feel this desire to want to, to get it con condense it down into like reachable content mm. you know context for people to yeah. understand it embrace it it's like because there's a congruency with what you do and your creativity right Cause, mm. cause many people out there will have a job mm. per se that they to, to use to then go and find that inspiration i mean we're all very forced because mm -hmm. you know we love love what we do mm -hmm. so I, I understand that because we stepped into the fear we stepped of course into the it's not room. like it just didn't turn yeah. you know it's taking the hell anybody could do work. it or you have to much. step in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah well, i met a guy once in um in la like um, there's some interesting folk in LA. Really? Only <laughs> <laughs> well, better overnight. I, I, I didn't go back. <laughs> so I used to have a computer job, right? And I, I hated the computer job. And I would, I was a master at expanding my lunch break, right? And my lunch break consisted of taking my guitar up into the mountains just outside where the office was. Uh -huh. So I'd drive up this windy hill and I'd be on this little dirt area where there's like a tree and a bench and I could play guitar and just like sing to the elements, right? Anyway, I'm just playing there, and all of a sudden, there's this this stench behind me, and I'm like, "What the hell is that?" And then there's this dude standing there, right? And he's got these little John Lennon glasses, and just smells of patchouli oil. And he's just like you know, total hippie. I don't know what, what rock you call that from under, but it was interesting. And he just stared at me. I was like, "Hey, how you going, mate? Like, get close, dude." Like, and um, he looked out over my shoulder at what I was looking at when I was playing guitar, and he's like, oh. And he's paused for a long time. <laughs> he says, I, it's like a dream, isn't it? I said, yeah. He goes, do you know how to make your dreams a reality? I said, no. He says, what you do is you take three seconds, just three seconds today. Just take three seconds and just be in that dream for three seconds. You do that for a week and after a week, make it 30 seconds. <laughs> Just for a week, do 30 seconds of just being in that dream. Mm -hmm. Next week, a minute, five minutes, ten minutes. So before you know it, you're going to be living your home. Your mm -hmm. So, turn around, it's like, things are gone. That's a dream. Huh. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? Mm. So, bit by bit by bit. Yeah. I think that's how we find ourselves in this. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can't tell, like tell you how long I had been in every cell of my body feeling into running some kind of retreat and being in front of people mm. from way back as far as I can remember mm. even back in my 20s yeah same, same. I, and it was different forms though it was interesting mm. it's different forms because I remember being in LA I'm like surrounded by you know actors or wannabe actors and wannabe musicians which I played that role for a while and <laughs> you know and i would sit in my it's interesting because i would sit in my little studio apartment in north hollywood or whatever and um and i would imagine i have a microphone and i would just imagine just making sound or just giving these presentations i didn't know what the hell i was saying i was just standing up there and it was like you know years later when i'm doing this work and i was in front of a large group of people doing a sound session and that same microphone was right in front of me, the one that I visualized just as I was standing in my lounge room with the fist, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I was visualizing this, but I didn't there know what I, I was am. visualizing. It's like, and that's, the, that's an interesting thing. It's like, is that vision calling you or are you calling that vision? That's it's right. It's you know? both, isn't it? It's both. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, it's so true. Like, I, I remember when I became a uh, fitness trainer and I started in uni, I've been working with people with cancer and learning, I guess, a different approach to um, rehabilitation. I wanted to just share it to the world. 
like yeah. it was in me and i remember telling someone like and they like laughed like honestly they kind of chuckled about it like one night and over a beer and i was like well no it's in me like i can't i can't help it <laughs> you know and not long after my neighbor who worked in a uh, corporate environment gave me an opportunity to go and speak to a boardroom about health fitness and nutrition it just, it just needs to be basic for an hour mm. and i remember jumping on it but then all of a sudden i was terrified because i was going to step into the corporate world which i knew nothing about apparently into some swanky boardroom that i had to go up to the blue mountains because they're all up there doing their, their weekend thing or whatever and uh, and i spent weeks and weeks and weeks preparing that thing and then and then i remember stepping in and it was like the best feeling ever when you come out of it the other end like, wow is that what it's all about like <laughs> mm-hmm. you know and um it, it's interesting isn't it because we see so many people that I think, you know, there's a burning desire for something different in the, or a different trajectory in their life. It's like it's if their heart and soul is wanting to come through. But how do we take that step and we put so many limitations on ourselves? Mm-hmm. And if there's one message, I'd love to leave people on a podcast today. It's, you know, don't wait. Don't wait for another year, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, shit, we're nearly in February already. Mm-hmm. It just, it just flies. Mm-hmm. And if we, it only needs to be one decision every day. You know, one small step, one three seconds. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, but but fan the flames, keep it alive, and then when when um, I believe opportunity presents itself, you know in your heart, then you have to say Just yes. Go, yeah. You mm. have to it's go. It's not about not being afraid. I think that's really important for people to understand mm. because we are also afraid of new things. Yeah. But despite the fear, we go, mm. and that's it. But then also, as you're talking, the other component is surround yourself with people that can find those flames for you. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you see, I, I think like you're pushing shit. It's the only reason like, I hang out with you, mate. I know, mate. I'm, I, I got a big fan, mate. I'm trying to get our flame going. You have no idea. <laughs> I just keep throwing wet blankets on. <laughs> no. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Go. <laughs> but yes. Proximity is, uh, Tony Robbins always says, right? Proximity is power. Mm. And, and you, you want to be inspired and have people to, to aspire to as well, that, that yeah. nurture you, that want you to grow, that will challenge you and, and respect you and, and be there. And if you don't have that in your life, it, it certainly is very challenging, but you still have to make the step, mm. you know? Because so much growth comes from um, different pressures. Otherwise, mm. no diamond. No diamond, exactly. No pressure, no diamond. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah. very good. We're not shining anymore. No, I know. We are I really know. dark. No. The, the... We are shining from the dark. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Showing the light. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. So, so is there anything um, we'd like to leave with this podcast today for our listeners? Let's start. We can all do one thing each. So I'm going to leave this as a ponder on, on everything that we've uh, shared. What comes to mind? For me, um, how do I say this? I think I find a lot of times that I've fallen holes, you know, get really heavy about life, mm-hmm. really heavy about things and exhausted. Um, leave all, I leave it all on the table, you know, and I'm just like, oh, I'm just spent. And, um, and I think, how can I do anything else? How can I bring any more to my life I'm just I didn't even want to I'm just over it you know and it's like but in that moment I still have my breath and that within the breath is inspiration it's a there's an essence that if I just take a breath in those heavy times and just really you know breathe into that and let it go and then it can start to lift me it's like, it doesn't matter if there's like not some beautiful, magical go on across in the road as you're coming to a sold out street. Ran <laughs> you almost it ran so over. You almost ran over. You scared the shit out of me. But anyway. Because <laughs> it was so long. You know, I had to. <laughs> so why did the car? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just that we breathe. Yeah. Just that we breathe. Just keep breathing. And, and life will inspire. Yeah. yeah. Petra? look for reasons to be grateful because there are mm-hmm. always always things to be grateful for mm-hmm. and i i just 
what comes to me and to ponder on what's something I realized quite a long time ago is though absolutely surround yourself with people that inspire you and want to lift you. And that can be difficult at first. Mm -hmm. But for me, it really is, we got to take our power back at some capacity, at some level, and, and start to work on ourselves and our internal dialogue and our internal world. Mm -hmm. And as we, so if, I, I think what I've noticed is the more I've kind of worked on myself over the years, the more peace, love and joy have actually come into my lives. Like that's the more the default than the old self, mm -hmm. but it's from owning it and leaning into it and moving forward. So what the thing I'd like to leave people with, and I remind myself is to lean in and to whatever there's that, that, that line, that tension, you don't have to go like Matt, like a crazy ball and just, well, you can you know, figure it out. But at the same time, <laughs> don't run away from what's there. Truly start to own it. Because I think awareness is key to everything. And the more aware and the more we get to know thyself and, and what wants to reveal itself, the more we can live from inspiration. Because I can guarantee the limitations that we have put on ourselves are probably just a belief and are not the truth. For sure. Right. So, so whatever's going through ourselves right now, whoever we blame, all the external worlds, we just we just wasting fucking energy. Mm. Mm. I know that much, you know. So, um, bring it back, bring it back. Yeah. And so you're gonna break out in the song there. Bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. Uh, if anyone's in Europe. We're going to be in Portugal, three of us. Ah, yeah. We don't mention it often. Mm. We obviously run retreats here. Petra flies out like here. And we're going to be here for two weeks. Mm -hmm. and get some surfing in. And mm -hmm. um, but we will be in Portugal in July and also in Zagreb the week before. Exactly. For a one day and a five night retreat in Portugal. Mm. So this is very exciting for us. Your time to be jet lagged. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be, be jet lagged, mate. Don't okay. you worry. <laughs> I'm Wait, you just had that go from from Yemma to Melbourne. <laughs> 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 I'll be bringing. It, I'll, uh, it'll be interesting if Ava sleeps. I think I'll be fine. Maybe, oh, maybe not. That's, I don't that's know. Not yeah. So you don't you worry. I'm, ask, ask my wife. I'm Step I'm, I'm amazing pier, when guys. I'm sleep deprived. I'm, I'm just a joy to be around. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. Much love to everyone. And hopefully we will meet you in person somewhere, some stage, sometime. Exactly. Thank you all.